that is our burning Liquid definition seal. today. Um, so inside, this is just a propane burner. Uh, if you go to a Home Depot and ask them where like the welding supplies is, you'll find these. Uh, so I can turn it on. Can't really see him right now, but he's on. Um, I can throttle him down. I can throttle him up, and I can turn him off. Uh, with the space shuttle, the space shuttle main engines, were, which were liquid fuels, provided one third of the thrust to get us up to space. But when you were going through that max fuel, when you were going through that point of highest aerodynamic pressure, they could throttle it down enough to be able to go through without shaking apart, and then throttle back up once they got through. So that allowed them to do that. It's one of the reasons why we didn't just use solid fuel to launch the space shuttle. Uh, but liquid fuel does that. Um, normally, I also like to do a hydrogen balloon. Um, however, I was running a little late today, and you don't want to mess around and rush when making a hydrogen balloon. Uh, so I did not make one for this moment in time. I'll see if I can make one for later. Because uh, we make our hydrogen from scratch, because it's kind of expensive to buy hydrogen gas. I also have the directions online for that, but we use uh, zinc and hydrochloric acid to make uh, hydrogen. It's very flammable. Think Hindenburg. Uh, I lost a lot of hair on my arm last week because of it. Alright, so we have done liquid fuel. We have done solid fuel. What's left? The mix. Hypergolic. Hypergolic. Hypergolic is our last type of fuel. Um, these are the ones that you put them together and they're going to go. Uh, so baking soda and vinegar, right, Coke and Mentos. Um, in our case, we're using two different chemicals. Um, the first chemical, it's a black powder. It is uh, potassium permanganate. It's found in water filters, amongst other things. Um, and it's just a gray powder. And I store them separately. I don't store them together, just in case. <laughs> and this is one you don't necessarily want to breathe the smoke. Um, it's not going to be. It's not terrible for you. It's just not that great. Um, and then we also have uh, found in lots of hand soaps, glycerin. Uh, so potassium permanganate and glycerin. Uh, just put about equal amounts in here. Give it a sec. It is a warm day today, so it should get going pretty quickly. Yeah, storing them in different pockets. <laughs> there we go, it's bubbling. Um, so with the space shuttle, theirs are a lot stronger. You put them together, they go. It takes this one a little bit to get going. There we go. So this is uh, chemical from hand soap and chemical from your water filter. What happens if you put hand soap in your water filter? Uh, probably nothing, because these are the pure forms. It's not mixed with anything. Um, this is one, however, because it's still going, you don't want to put water on to put it out. Because that just makes it bigger. Uh, put water on it! No, thank you. That's why I have a bucket of sand. Uh, still going. So I'm going to let it keep burning here. Uh, but those are just kind of the three demonstrations we use for the kids uh, to demonstrate our solid fuels, our liquid fuels, and our hypergolics. Uh, once again, hypergolics not so good for you, uh, depending on which ones you're using. Uh, if you get really excited about hypergolics, uh, one of our former educators, Jay, if you look on YouTube and search for, uh, I think it's just like the hypergolic song. It, it's it's um, the, the actual chemical. Okay, monomethyl hydrogen yes. and nitrogen is tetroxide the song. Monomethyl hydrogen. It's yeah. to the tune of um, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Super Califragilis. Yeah, so it's him singing that. It's actually really cute and very educational, but very hard to sing, otherwise I would sing it for you. He actually printed out the words for us. 